Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Kim here and today is an episode of Happy Mail Movement. Woohoo! I've got mail! Um, if you're not familiar with the Happy Mail uh, Movement, all the information is down below including a link to my original video where I show you how to make an envelope and I explain what Happy Mail is. But in the end, the, the uh, whole idea is to uh, make an envelope fill it with a couple of little goodies, uh, doesn't matter where you live, and send it to me and I will send one back to you. It's a great way to, um, you know, inspire each other, to to put a little happy in, in our, our day. Uh, it is so fun going to the mailbox and getting these kinds of envelopes and opening them up from people from around the world and, and getting to see uh, different things that they send. A lot of times you, you all inspire me with the things that you put in there, the creativity that you've got going on. Um, and I've learned a few tricks. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you make the envelope, you put a few little goodies in it and you, you try to keep it uh, to one stamp. Now, if you're uh, mailing uh, within the country, like I'm in Canada, so of course, one stamp is uh, about a dollar, what, dollar seven, I think. Um, of course, if you're mailing from one country to another, it's going to cost a little bit more. So you have to be aware of what the post office charges you and uh, you want to keep the weights down to one stamp. And we're using stamps. I'm just going to quickly cover her, her name here. We're using stamps because um, it's just pretty. Um, and, you know, to be able to see stamps from around the world is a lot of fun, too. So, yeah, if you send me an envelope, I will send one back to you. And also on my uh, description box below in this video and on any of my Happy Mail videos is a list of all the other participants. So there are 11 other YouTube channels that are participating in Happy Mail Movement. So you can go to their channel, read their introductory uh, video because I have the link to each of those videos below. Excuse me. <coughs> And then you, you would send them an envelope. Um, you know, each of us shows our address either in the description or we point you to the address or we show it to you in our videos. So you can get the address information and send an envelope to those people. And they will send one back to you as well. So it's a safe way to exchange with people knowing that you're going to get... Um, something's going to come back to you for the most part. You know, I mean, we do have mail that might go uh, astray in the mail. But, you know, if you let me know that you've sent one, I will keep a watch for it. And, you know, regardless, you're going to get something back one way or another. And if you could let us know if you're sending out some happy mail, just leave a comment in one of the, the videos uh, that you're watching and just say, yes, I'm sending you some happy mail. It just helps to put it in my mind that there's something coming. Um, not only to keep a watch for the mail when it gets here, but also to start preparing. Because while you're sending one envelope to me and maybe one envelope to three or four other people, I can get upwards of 10 at a time in the mailbox, which has happened. <laughs> so I have to make 10 envelopes and fill 10 envelopes and send them out. So it's always nice to have a heads up that envelopes are coming so I can get a little bit ahead whenever I can. <laughs> <laughs> and keep them coming. If you've sent me an envelope before um, and you enjoy what you're getting and you, you don't feel shy to send me another envelope, I love it. I love the mail. I love sending it out to you and I love getting it. And um, yeah, let's keep this going for as long as we can. It's it's all up to how how much mail you want to get and get uh, and, and for me to send back to you. Uh, and I'm happy to happy to do that. What I'm doing with my envelopes is I'm starting to make them into journals. I will uh, go back and do a couple of videos again of uh, making journals um, just to show you some of the, the uh, different techniques that I'm using and how I'm incorporating the stuff that you send me in the envelope into, into a journal page uh, of yours. So, for example, an envelope like this, I will cut on three sides and uh, it will become a signature page in my journal. So things that are related that maybe you sent me some, some uh, handmade items, I will include that on your page uh, and it gives me a, a surface to work with. And it's just a fun way to have memories and to be able to go back and look at the different um, people who, who sent me envelopes. So let's get started. Um, this one comes from Joan Martucci. Tucci? Joan Martucci. I'm going to butcher that. I'm sorry, Joan. but And she is from Newport, 
uh, Newport Ray, Florida, I think it is. Newport. Newport Ray, R-E-H-Y. I've never heard that before. But what a lovely envelope you've sent me. It is a catalog page, I think, from, um, you know, some type of a flower catalog or a gardening book. Um, she's added some lovely butterflies. I love these American stamps that uh, we're getting. Um, they are just so beautiful. But we are getting new stamps in Canada. Uh, I've been complaining to my postmaster. So she's getting some new ones uh, for us to, for me to send uh, some of my happy mail. You've decorated this with some beautiful washi tape that's very complimentary to what you've got on here. And the back side as well. There's some music sheet and some more butterflies and lovely flowers. Just gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to open this up. I've left it upside down now, Joan. And I know I had when I cut it open, I had seen that you had a return address uh, sticker. So I put that aside already so that I can um, uh, keep it for myself. But uh, I've taken it off so we don't have to worry. And I have this little pocket thing here. Now, this is another great example of a good way to send Happy Mail in the mail. Because if you've put it in this little envelope, it's not going to the end of the envelope. So that when I go to cut this open, um, I don't have to worry that I'm cutting through something. Because I can kind of push everything to one side. Love this idea. Uh, the other day I had one where somebody had used some wallpaper and wrapped it around. So again, it had a nice edge that kept everything from flying up. Like some people send lots of little die cuts or... Um, butterflies and flowers and stuff that you know could easily get caught in the top of the envelope and then I would cut through them but this is a brilliant way to do this love this thank you Joan and of course I love butterflies so oh <laughs> I think you know that don't you <laughs> oh my goodness lots of goodies in here okay so nice little decorated envelope oh does this come out yes it does okay so it is a full envelope uh, envelope love that and let's see what's inside so I have an ephemera piece here with a bingo card and another little envelope pocket thing with lots of goodies okay see these are all those little goodies that you have to worry about oh my goodness you definitely have been told that I like butterflies <laughs> Love them. I never get enough. And it just amazes me how many different ones there are, right? There's just so pretty. Um, look at that blue one. It's gorgeous. Ooh, that one's pretty too. They're all beautiful. I love them. I love moths too. Um, they're a little bit furrier, but I love them as well. Uh, and this is a really pretty one in the orange. Love it. Love it all. Thank you, Joan. And then this is another little envelope, I think. Oh, I see. Oh, this is interesting. It's a flip up. Okay. Oh, no. It's an envelope. Is it an envelope or a flip up? It's both. That is really cool. So you've attached this here to the flap of the envelope so that you can open it up. And you have a, a secret writing space. And then you have a tuck spot. Now you've got a little charm here coming through, which is lovely as well. That is so cute. So this could float inside your, your journal or be glued down and make another tuck spot. Love this. Love this idea. Yes, I'm going to have to play on that one. This is what I mean. Every envelope I get, somebody has something different in the envelope. This is gorgeous. I, birds are another thing. You know, I, I say it so often, bird, label, flower, butterfly, my most favorite things to, to play with. Um, and this is so effective. The little bit of um, uh, cheesecloth here stitched on and the lace trim around the sides of this. Very Oh, it, it's actually a piece of lace o overlay over top of the um, tag. Really cool. And you've stamped on it as well. That's really awesome. Love that. And then another tag with butterflies. Mm, this girl is just singing to my heart here. Oh, just gorgeous. Thank you, Joan. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, demonstration using your envelope. But 
I would open up the envelope on three sides and I'm going to try not to show your address here. I always try to cover them up with um, a little label and stuff, but they always seem to fall off. So I just have to be careful and not show your address. Not that it really matters much, I don't think, but um, everybody likes their privacy. So. But so this is how I would open the envelope and just to cover it on the other side. So it would become a whole page here. And um, once it's open, it's it's a canvas to, to work on. I'm just going to finish opening it here. So I can further enhance this by adding in, um, you know, some of this stuff. Not everything. You know, some things go into my other stash. <laughs> uh, but this would, would uh, be uh, clipped in on the side of the page. Um, you know, I can use the ephemera. I can use, this is like a little pocket, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So I can have the pocket here. Add in your tag into the pocket. And same with this tag, I can add into the pocket. So the page would open up. I'm just going to get this out of the way. The page might open up like this. And, and so I would have this pocket with your tags in it and probably your address label would be inside here. And then if you close it on the other side, I still have more room to collage and add other goodies onto here. So I could add this onto the envelope, maybe uh, glue it down on a couple of sides, leave this open and have something like the bingo card uh, tucked in behind. Um, and then it's always fun to use these little items to further enhance and decorate. But th this is already looking beautiful, just like that. Love it. Love it, love it. Thank you, Joan. I really appreciate it. And um, your envelope will be going out this week. All my envelopes are going out this week. So anything that comes in, even if it comes in by Friday, I will get it out in the mail. However, I am going to be away for two weeks, so if any envelopes come after that, they won't get looked at until the beginning of April. So I hope you guys uh, know that I will get to it. I just am away for now. Okay, Joan, I've just tucked all that in, so thank you very much. I'm going to put that up the side here. Hopefully that doesn't fall over. This next one is from Brenda Clark, and I don't have to cover her address because she is one of the collaborators in the um, Happy Mail movement. And she has used a map page, and she's decorated with some stickers and washi. Love this cardinal bird. I don't know where you got those. I didn't even see these in, in our uh, post office, but I love it. It doesn't even look like it's been canceled. Isn't that crazy? Sometimes you got to wonder about our mail. And uh, then on this side, more of the map showing through, and she's got some more washi tape and stickers on here. And it says Happy Mail Movement. And there's always lots of goodness. I tease Brenda all the time that she leaves the Happy Mail move, uh, Happy Mail uh, machine on overnight when she goes to bed, and, and she has all these extra envelopes done in the morning. I wish I could be like that. <laughs> So the inside, it looks like you've used a map or, or the map was part of a book page. Um, interesting uh, starting point. And then, of course, all these goodies will get added into it. So she's giving me some little ephemera pieces here. Fun stuff. It's just amazing the ephemera that they make nowadays, right? Ooh, these are made with your new dyes that you got. That looks like it's freezer paper, maybe, or wax paper. Really interesting. Love that. How? Or maybe it's glassine bags. Love it. What, a, what really nice overlay that will be on something. And then a little handmade tag. Um, if you watch Brenda's channel, and if you don't, you should be. Um, she was doing some amazing um, mixed media stuff that just she said she's just a beginner uh, uh yeah if you're a beginner then i can't wait to see when you're an expert because man the stuff you've been making is just gorgeous i think this is one of your tags um and she does the the brush spraying over top with the, the paint just beautiful love this this is gorgeous another little piece of ephemera here and a butterfly now, Brenda loves mushrooms, so I always send her mushrooms, and she always sends me butterflies. 
and another piece of ephemera here. Wow, you've, you've got some really nice pieces. I don't know where you're finding these. They're gorgeous. And some more butterflies. Oop, they're stuck to my table or my fingers. I cut my fingernails. I can't pick anything up now. Um, yeah, love these. They're just so pretty. They just make me happy. And this is a file folder. Okay, I just have to score it and it is ready to go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Thank you. And so, as I said, Brenda left the um, Happy Mail Movement uh, machine on overnight because I have a second one from her. Now, I got such a kick out of this envelope. Uh, first of all, it's covered in birds, which, you know, already made me happy. And then she said, you think I'm crazy? Wait until you meet my family. <laughs> Yeah, we all have those skeletons that get out of the closet every once in a while, right? <laughs> uh, decorated on the back with some stickers and flowers uh, and just a fun looking envelope. And inside more of her wonderful goodness. Now, it's this one definitely came from a bird book uh, of some kind. And I have another piece of ephemera. Is this ephemera or wallpaper? It feels like wallpaper. That's really interesting. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, and this is lovely. Mm, mm, this is so pretty. Little kitty cat on her shoulder. Lovely lace trim here on the bottom. And she's collaged with a, a lace background and some designer papers on a book page. Just beautiful Canadian stamp. Love it. This is very, very pretty. Mm, thank you, Brenda. I love this. And butterflies. If I could only be a butterfly for a day, wouldn't that be fun? Love these. Isn't that pretty? These little stickers. Right now, everything is so staticky and they're sticking to me. Uh, that's a, a very pretty butterfly as well. She's giving me lots of these little um, floral stickers. I have a piece of thread on the table. Is it from your envelope or from me? <laughs> I've been doing lots of sewing too. Um, lots of fun little goodies here. Little suitcases. These are so pretty. They're always fun to add. You know, it, it just amazes me how it doesn't take much to... Um, enhance something with a couple of these little stickers right thank you Brenda I love this this little girl is just so sweet she's going in my definitely into my journal um, I don't know how she can go on the bird page next to being you know, your crazy family but um, she will go in there <laughs> and then this last one but not least at all um, comes from Jean Roman yay Jean Jean is a longtime friend of mine Love this envelope. Uh, love your writing. You're just like Thelma with this fancy pants writing here. And again, one of these large round sticker stamps. Ah, they're so pretty. Gosh, Canada Post, come on. It's time you stepped up. Look at these that we're getting from the United States. We can do hard things. We can do hard things. Be kind. Love these stickers. She's got some washi tape on here. Um, love that. That's cool. Uh, it's like waves. Very nice. Done on a music book page. The melody haunts my re rev reverie. Yeah, the melody haunts my reverie. Sorry, I had to think on that word for a second. Uh, happy Mail Movement. Love this. So it's a book page. On the inside, it's a, a book page with lots of goodies inside. Jean is also a collaborator in the Happy Mail Movement. And uh, a longtime friend and... Uh, artist and designer that I've known for for a long long time and um, do visit her channel she offers a lot as well Brenda's another um, uh, incredible instructor and designer on YouTube so you do have to visit these channels and um, check out their videos lots to see and do and um, incredible uh, things that you can uh, um, use in your journals and be inspired so Jean's envelope is music page on the inside, which is a blank canvas to me to add all kinds of goodness to it. <clears throat> and she's given me, oh, I love these little circle pockets. I really have to make some of these. I really have to make some. 
So she's made this little, uh, this is from your uh, mixed media uh, that you were doing as well. It's just a hand stitched little uh, round circle pocket and she has filled it with ephemera, a little bird. And I'm guessing this is probably a sticker. These are probably all stickers, right? Uh, that says specimen and some mushrooms. Oh, that is so cute. Love that. And a little butterfly. And another little label. Isn't that sweet? And I know that this is going to be something that I'm going to love. Yes, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? We have a lot of fox here. Um, now, is it foxes? Is that how you would say it? We have a lot of foxes. Love your crazy stitching. That is just gorgeous. Uh, but we have a lot of foxes and they look just like that. You know, sometimes you look at, at magazines and books and you think, oh, I've never seen an animal that actually looks like that. But here in, in New Brunswick, we have a lot of them. And uh, so we see them quite often. And especially when there's a little bit of snow on the ground, uh, they're so orange. And it just amazes me the color and how they stand out. You would think that they would change color a little bit to blend in better, but not uh, not uh, these ones. And, and they look just like this, which is pretty cool. Thank you, Jean. I love it. And then this is, enjoy this hug for me, Jean. Okay, there's a hug. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. I know it. She always is so creative in the things that she makes. Um, so unique, such unique items. And look at the little bag that it came in. It's a little floral bag. And it's a pocket hug made out of felt and slow stitched. Oh, Jean, this is just beautiful. Just beautiful. I will definitely enjoy this. Thank you so much. So that's all of my happy mail. Thank you to Jean and to Brenda for the two envelopes and to Joan for your lovely envelope and lovely uh, goodness. Um, I am so excited to be a part of this movement. I'm just trying to cover uh, Joan's address there. <laughs> um, I'm so happy to be a part of this movement with all of you and to receive your mail. And my envelopes are going out in the mail today. If any other envelopes come this week while I'm home, I will get them out even as late as Friday because I can, I can make them up on Friday and Saturday. And even if I have to mail them from Manitoba, I will mail them from Manitoba. But after that, um, yeah, if they come next week, they're going to be sitting here until April. And if they come as late as Friday, actually, if they come as late as tomorrow, I won't have time to do a video on them. But you can know that these ones, whatever ones that come in this week, will have gone out in the mail to you. But after that, it will it'll sit here and the videos will get done after the fact. And But I will let you know when, when I get to that point, if your envelope has already gone or if it's, if it's here. And, you know, you may have the envelope way before I do the video only because of how it falls into place. But thank you so much. I never get tired of this happy mail, so please bring it on. I enjoy it all, and um, I, I look forward to sending you an envelope anytime. Thank you. Have yourself a very creative day and a creative week, and I look forward to seeing all of you soon. Bye for now.